travel with the team to London, a sign he could be playing against the Jaguars this Sunday. This has been NFL Network Now on the Western One Radio Network. This new Wendy's Frosty flavor is way too exciting to keep under wraps. It's a brand new, first-of-its-kind flavor. Get this, pumpkin spice. I know, right? It's so good. It's rich, it's cozy. It's the perfect flavor for some fall frosty time. Watch, everyone will see it and jump on the bandwagon. Grab a never-before-seen pumpkin spice frosty or pumpkin spice frosty cream cold brew today when you choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Limited time only. Participating U.S. Wendy's. Vanilla Frosty is temporarily unavailable. A lot of schools talk about training the cybersecurity workforce of the future, but do they really deliver? My Computer Career has been supplying the IT workforce with thousands of skilled, certified pros for 15 years. Train with the experts in support, networking, or cybersecurity and start your career in months, not years. Upskill even faster. On campus or live online, qualified students may get financial aid, including the GI Bill. My Computer Career, accredited, acclaimed, effective. Take the free career evaluation at mycomputercareer.edu. And uh, somewhere along the way, I think I mentioned that we made it to Thursday, the fifth day of October, 2023. I'm Carol in the newsroom. It's Gene Brister. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Carol. <sighs> Love these mornings. They're hard to handle. Yeah, the best part of the day. Uh, okay. That's for sure. That, uh, you know, a morning like this and a good cup of coffee really helps. Not really. So far, the weather has developed in the wind that they had forecast for earlier. Yeah, not uh, not so bad. So, okay. Let's see. Oh, if you are following this, uh, this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry is going to go to scientists who work to discover and develop quantum, quantum dots. Quantum dots. They're used in LED lights and in TVs and by surgeons when removing cancer tissue. Yeah, yeah pretty remarkable. Uh, meanwhile, uh, my grandkids are now working on becoming masters at Fortnite, Call of Duty, and Grand Theft Auto. Boy, uh, maybe we need to redirect them. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And it is October. Oktoberfest, and uh, you know, the name Buckley is Irish, but I'm actually three quarters German, so I celebrate Oktoberfest with a Guinness. Okay. Yeah. Here's mm. to you. Yes. Okay. Uh, we've got some birthdays to celebrate today, so uh, let's jump in. Our big shot birthdays. Actor Glynis Johns, uh, she was in Mary Poppins, she's 100. Arlene Smith of the Chantels, 82. Steve Miller is 80. Singer Brian Johnson of ACDC, 76. Actor Karen Allen, 72. Astrophysicist and Cosmos host Neil deGrasse Tyson, 65. Actor Daniel Baldwin, 63. Actor Guy Pierce is 56, actor Josie Bissett, 53, singer, actor Heather Headley, 49, actor Parminder Nagra is 48, actor Scott Weinger is 48, actor Kate Winslet, 48, guitarist James Valentine of Maroon 5, 45, also uh, actor Jesse Eisenberg, 40, and actor Joshua Logan Moore, 29, We've got local birthdays. Tune in for NFL Primetime Football on KXO AM 1230. Catch the action of the Thursday night, Sunday night, and, of course, Monday night games on AM 1230. No fees, no buffering. But just the very best NFL football. The NFL on AM 1230 is brought to you by Southwest Security Services and El Centro RV Service Center. We can celebrate today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Gloria Holmes, Rosa Alanis, Ramon Reina, Melissa Bazan, Eric Cervantes, Anne Hurt, Brady Bryant, Monica Sterling, Maricela Sandoval, Mike Carson, Monica Tavares, Judy Morse, Veronica Zavala, Elisa Hernandez, and happy birthday, Jim Christofferson, still my favorite weather guy. I saw Jim uh, the other day, hard at work at the Lutheran Church on 8th Street in El Centro. Mm -hmm. Jim is the official uh, groundskeeper. 
That is official. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. What else is going around uh, the world? Well, um, let's see. What? Uh, next week is Red Shoe Day, right? Yes, next Thursday. Okay, and you have your red shoes all polished They're and all, spit shined? Yep, spit shined. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, uh, of course, Red Shoe Day raises money for Ronald McDonald House, which is uh, located right by Rady's Children's Hospital. Right, and a lot of people think that, well, the, the money is all raised by the McDonald's, and there's not enough of them to do that. They certainly uh, gather a lot of donations, but they need uh, our help. Yes. So, and you know. um, a significant number of Imperial Valley residents that uh, have uh, needed the services of Rady's Children's Hospital have stayed at Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they've hung out with uh, Ronald McDonald. Yeah. And it's so much better. When uh, daughter Amy was in uh, Children's Hospital uh, in there twice, um, Pam and I kind of lived in a uh, van conversion in the parking lot. That was the best we could do so we could be there. Uh -huh. And uh, times have changed for the better. Yeah, I was going to say it's uh, for the better for sure. Not yeah. that it was bad before. Yeah. I can remember roaming the halls of uh, Children's Hospital in the middle of the night, uh, you know, just to get up and move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, it's nice to know that uh, A, Radies is there because they are among the world's finest and uh, that Ronald McDonald House is there for, uh, for the family. Yep, it's there over 25% uh, of the Usage is uh, from Imperial Valley. So let's support. So okay, that's, that's a week from today. Week from, from today. That's okay. It. Very good. Uh, we've got uh, some real news, if you're ready. Some real snooze. We can jump in with a look at World in California news headlines right now. Brought to you by your friends in the business. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. They are your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. In Ukraine, say as many as 49 people, including a child, were killed at a wake during a Russian strike on a village in eastern Kharkiv. The BBC's James Waterhouse. I think even by the standards of the almost daily missile and sh uh, attacks and, and shelling that Ukraine goes through, this is the single biggest loss of life we have seen in months. President Zelensky is in Spain looking for more support from European leaders. Georgia State Senate will investigate conditions at a jail in Atlanta. Republican John Albers. We will go through uh, the areas that are causing the concerns today that have led to, unfortunately, the deaths in the Fulton County Jail. New York Mayor Eric Adams is in Mexico pleading for an end to mass border crossings that have overwhelmed his city. We must make sure uh, that uh, we look at the long-term impact of this global migration. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760 -93 L O C K E. That's 760 L O C K E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news mourners paying tribute to the late U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein today at San Francisco City Hall. Mayor London Breed says the city will host an open-air funeral today at 1. There will be a fitting celebration of her life. We anticipate the Vice President Kamala Harris, our current California senators, and other guests that will be joining us. 
Those attending should expect road closures and extra security around the Civic Center. In day two of the largest health care strike in history today, as 75,000 Kaiser Permanente workers walked off the job and onto the picket line in California and several other states, respiratory therapist David Boston says they're fighting for increased pay and against what they say are unfair labor practices and staffing levels. We're working, you know, one respiratory therapist that should be doing the job of two or three. The strike set to last for three days does not include doctors. I'm John Gilliland. This is California Headline News. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal for repair for replacement. Contact the experts, Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Wouldn't it be great if life came with remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to or hit rewind. Like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. In Big Tobacco's fantasy land, children are the future. Here, tobacco companies are committed to higher education, offering scholarships to students who submit essays about the benefits of vaping. The tobacco industry even sponsors summer camps for kids. Don't worry, the tobacco-sponsored programs have been linked to leaving your kids more interested in smoking. In Big Tobacco's fantasy land, the world's deadliest industry is your child's friend. See reality at undo.org. It's page one of the local news, page one of service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, with three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, this service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. It's uh, the month of October, and it's time to spread awareness. George Gale has more. It is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's a national event. Locally, the Imperial County District Attorney's Office and Woman Haven Center for Family Solutions are working together to bring awareness and encourage the community to take action against domestic violence. If you have been a victim of domestic abuse or know someone who has, contact the 24-7 Crisis Hotline at 760-353-8530 to learn about options and resources that are available to you. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. An El Centro business was burglarized. Uh, the owner of the business in the 400 block of North Imperial Avenue reported the office was burglarized over the weekend. A laptop computer, cell phone, checkbooks, and personal items were taken. KXO News Time is 7 41. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Centro Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs, and it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentroMotors.net. El Centro Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Well, the city of El Centro will host a cleanup day on Saturday. Here's more on that story. With they will team. also offer a paper shredding event. It will be this Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. It will be held at CR&R 599 East Main Street in El Centro. They will be accepting all types of items, including furniture, appliances, and electronics. Uh, they will also accept up to nine tires without a transportation waiver from Environmental Health. Passenger light-duty truck tires and rims will also be be accepted. No commercial type loads will be accepted, however. For the uh, paper shredding event, residents can bring up to a, a bank, five bankers' boxes uh, uh, to a shred for free. The event is for El Centro residents, uh, res residential customers. Proof of residency must be provided. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A tortoise is in the news as it has gone uh, missing. El Centro Police received a report that an African spur-thighed tortoise 
escape from a local home. The tortoise is reported to be 21 years old, tan and brown in color, and weighs approximately 70 pounds. The owners of the tortoise are asking for help in locating the wandering animal. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two, just around the corner. Page one of the Local News, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, with three locations in the Valley at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service in Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. And it's page two of the local news with weather. All brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Continuing with more local news this morning, the city of Brawley is hosting a cleanup event. George Gale has the story. It is for Brawley residents and will be held this Saturday. Throwaway items accepted at the event include furniture, yard waste, appliances without Freon, and e-waste. Residents can also drop off up to nine tires for free without a transportation waiver from the environmental health. Passenger light-duty truck tires and rims will be accepted. No commercial dumping and cover loads are required. Residents must pr uh, provide proof of residency. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. An Imperial County dentist and his office manager pleaded guilty to fraud in federal court on Tuesday. Dr. Habad Ahagolu uh, entered a, a guilty plea to conspiring to commit uh, health care fraud by billing Medicare for procedures that were not covered, not performed, or otherwise not necessary. According to court records, Dr. Aghalou and others recruited Medicare beneficiaries to get dental work done. Once a Medicare beneficiary was uh, in one of Aghalou's uh, offices, some type of procedure was performed, usually a tooth extraction, and then a false claim was submitted to Medicare. Since both the extractions uh, are not covered by Medicare, Aghalou's uh, office instead submitted false claims for procedures that are covered. According to court records, Aghalou has submitted over 7,000 false claims between March 2016 and October 2018, the claims totaled more than $18 million. Aghalou's uh, office received nearly $8.5 million for Medicare. Teresa Flores, the office manager, was charged with obstructing a Medicare audit by submitting the false documents to a federal auditor for the Medicare program. Aghalou was ordered to forfeit a million dollars in property and pay restitution to Medicare in the amount of uh, $8,474,000. Sentencing is set for August, uh, or August, January the 12th of 2024. And finally, GED readiness. Uh, you can prepare for the GED. George Gale explains. A workshop will be held this afternoon. Workshop will teach you how to prepare yourself to obtain a GED and the resources available to prepare for the GED exam. Contact Womanhaven for information on how to register to attend the workshop. Workshop will be held at the Womanhaven Thrift Store beginning at 3.30 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. The uh, thrift store is on Main Street in El Centro. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. My name is Shelley Wilkinson, and I am an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially among those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. 
Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ivfoodbank.org. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. According to the National Weather Service, dry and tranquil conditions will prevail the next several days as high pressure builds into the region. But it will bring a strong warming trend. Starting today, above normal temperatures will return to the region with the Imperial and Yuma Valleys topping 100 degrees by tomorrow. Look for a slight increase in moisture, but no precipitation is expected. The above normal temperatures are likely to persist well into next week. 94 the high in the valley yesterday, 64 the overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 97. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then turning out of the south. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 71. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east-southeast. Friday, sunny with a high near 100. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southeast. Saturday, sunny with a high near 100. North-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east-northeast in the afternoon. Sunny on Sunday with a high near 101. South, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then turning out of the east. We have 67 degrees downtown El Centro, 43% our relative humidity. Wind out of the west, 7 to 10 miles an hour. Page two of the local news and the weather presented by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Here's a message to students and parents from the Central Union High School District. Showing up is a valuable life habit. Build the habit of good attendance. Attending school every day is possible and it helps students learn and grow. Attending school improves mental health through socializing, developing friendships, and forming relationships. Be active. Be present. It all begins with showing up. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Well, the wild card round is over and uh, went two games across the board. The Rangers ripped the Rays 7 1. They win that series 2 zip. It was the Twins topping the Blue Jays 2 0. They win that series two games to none. The Diamondbacks dump the Brewers 5-2. They win the series 2-0. And the Phillies beat up on the Marlins 7-1. Philadelphia wins that series two games to none. Ah, yes. And the division series? Well, we've got more baseball to play. Yes, Saturday. The Rangers and the Orioles will tee it up, followed by the Twins and the Astros, the Phillies and the Braves, and the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. So uh, lots of baseball coming your way. And uh, basketball, well, the Los Angeles Lakers might have the Nuggets on their minds this week, but Denver coach Michael Malone said the defending NBA champions have nothing but respect for the Lakers and have turned the page from their Western Conference sweep of the Los Angeles team. And in other news, Lionel Messi will sit out, um, well, he did sit out Miami's loss to Chicago as uh, playoff hopes fade for Miami. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Are you ready for Thursday night football? It's the Bears and the Commanders. We've got games starting at 4.30 this afternoon on AM 1230 KXO. Meanwhile, 
<laughs> the NFL has defended its recent coverage of pop superstar Taylor Swift and Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey amid backlash from fans and even Kelsey himself, who said the league is overdoing it with its attention toward the duo's rumored romance. Swift has attended the Chiefs past two games. No word on whether she'll be there this weekend. And I really don't care. Friday night, we've got football. The Brawley Wildcats, Southwest Eagles. It'll be live on AM 1230 and on the KXO YouTube channel. The uh, Central Spartans, meanwhile, take on the Calexico Bulldogs. And Palo Verde Valley visits Calipatria. Hopeville, Vincent, and Imperial all have a bye week, which means Mickey and George get the uh, Friday night off. Sunday, the Cowboys and the 49ers on AM 1230. Monday night football, rumbling, stumbling, Raiders and the Packers. 4.30 Monday afternoon, that game on FM 107.5, the Imperial Valley home of the Las Vegas Raiders. That's it for Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to PMHD.org for more information about Pioneers. Did you know that about a thousand students from around the Imperial Valley are getting a jump on their college careers by attending IBC classes right now on their own high school campus? Ask us about our dual enrollment programs available to students at most Imperial Valley high schools. Get started now at the number one community college in the nation. Check us out. For information, go to imperial.edu and search dual enrollment. That's imperial.edu. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you this morning by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. By the way, Southwest Security also offers live scan fingerprinting to the public. Microsoft and Amazon could be in hot water over apparently making it difficult for United Kingdom customers to use multiple suppliers of vital cloud services. The Competition and Markets Authority, Britain's antitrust regulator, said today it was launching an investigation into the UK cloud infrastructure services market to determine whether players were engaged in anti-competitive practices. What? Microsoft? Oh, come on. Uh, cloud computing firms such as Microsoft and Amazon Web Services use data centers around the world to provide remote access to computing services and storage. Yeah, it's not really up in the air in a cloud. It's in some remote server hidden in the hills of West Virginia. Uh, the uh, cloud infrastructure forms the foundation for how software applications such as Gmail and Dropbox are developed and run. Meanwhile, South Korean automakers Kia, Hyundai, and luxury brand Genesis announced today that their electric vehicles in the U.S. will have Tesla-style charging ports starting in the last quarter of 2024. This will allow owners of those vehicles to seamlessly use Tesla chargers. The brands join Ford, General Motors, Mercedes, Nissan, Honda, and others in pledging to switch over to the Tesla's North America charging standard. And um, in April of 2022, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, now deputy head of Russia's Security Council, said on his Telegram channel, our food is our silent weapon, silent but form formidable, not silent any longer. Russia is expected to rake in a historically high wheat harvest for the second year in a row and is increasing, increasingly using that bounty to undermine Ukraine and gain global influence. Taking a look at the Dow, well, Wall Street's worried about uh, the U.S. losing its AAA rating as political chaos fuels government shutdown fears in Washington. Right now, the Dow off about 100 points at 33.030. The uh, S&P 500 down 28 
at 4235. The NASDAQ off 130 points at 13105. Gold down $3.80 an ounce. Oil up. Eight cents a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 97, west wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming south. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 71, west-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east-southeast in the evening. Friday, sunny with a high near 100, west-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southeast in the morning. 69 degrees downtown El Centro, 41% our relative humidity. Wind out of the west-southwest right now, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. Thursday night football, 4.30 this afternoon on AM 12.30. The Chicago Bears, the Washington Commanders. You don't have to subscribe to uh, Prime or anything else. You can just tune in. For Thursday Night Football, it's free. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro. The Imperial. This is CBS News on the Hour. Presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. A major shift at the southern border in a spot where illegal crossing attempts have been rising. Texas reporter Chris Fox. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas announcing the waiving of 26 federal laws in South Texas to speed up the building of an additional 20 miles of the border wall in Stark County, Texas, just west of McAllen. Mayorkas referred to the sector as an area of high illegal entry. This marks a dramatic flip for President Biden, who said in 2021 that building a massive wall that spans the entire southern border is not a serious policy solution. New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who says the migrant influx in his city is is not sustainable is now in Mexico to spread the word that migrants heading north have to quote manage their expectations. This is just the beginning to be on the ground and understand the impact coming from Ecuador, Panama, how it's impacting uh, Mexico City. Well, now to eastern Ukraine. <laughs> Chaos and carnage, at least 50 people killed, at least one child, too, when Russian forces shelled a small village. The BBC's James Waterhouse in Kiev. This is the single biggest loss of life we have seen in months. We're expecting the death toll to rise. This seems like an especially deadly targeted strike on what we're told was a grocery store and a cafe, and there's some really distressing pictures being posted. Ukraine's President Zelensky called it a brutal, deliberate act of terrorism. A U.S. official, meantime, tells CBS News North Korea has begun sending artillery to Russia. And Washington is dispatching ammunition seized from Iran to Ukraine. After the ouster of Kevin McCarthy as House Speaker, some in Congress are calling for a rule change to prevent a small number of people from upending leadership. California Republican Daryl Issa, who backed McCarthy, is one of them. You ought to have uh, more votes than there were apostles if you're going to unseat the speaker. So whether it's a dozen or as Nancy Pelosi had at the majority of her conference, it needs to be a reasonable number. It's day two of the strike by tens of thousands of health care workers at Kaiser Permanente. Impact being felt for this man at a California pharmacy. Uh, I didn't even get to walk inside. The guy stopped me right at the door and said, uh, pharmacy? Yeah, uh, well, we close at 5 p.m. sharp, sorry. Public hearing today in Washington. Safety regulators are considering whether a recall should be ordered of 52 million airbag inflators made by two suppliers. Complaints indicate they can rupture and spew metal fragments. Wall Street, right now the Dow is down 118 points. The S&P is down 29. This is CBS News. If you need to hire, you need Indeed, because Indeed's all-in-one hiring solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit.
If your Medi-Cal is ending, Cover California is here to help. Cover California is a service from the state that helps you get affordable health insurance. In many cases, at no cost to you, just like with Medi-Cal. We have quality health plans and we'll help you every step of the way to get the one that works for you and your family. So, if you're no longer eligible for Medi-Cal, check out Cover California. We'll keep you covered. Learn more at CoveredCA.com. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. A piece of theatrical history has surfaced. All of the world's a stage. Good all the men and women, merely players. Construction workers at a theater in Kings Lynn, England, are believed to have uncovered the sole surviving piece of stage the main player in the 1500s, William Shakespeare, acted on. The floorboards at St. George's Guild Hall had been hidden by replacements that were installed 75 years ago. Experts used tree ring dating and a survey of how the building was assembled with pegs and massive beams to date the floor to the early 1400s. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. An image of King Charles will soon appear on Australian coins. More than a year after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth, the gold Australian dollar coin will be the first minted with an image of the monarch, who is also Australia's head of state. Ten million of them are expected to be out by Christmas. Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Danger! Excitement! Mustaches! It's time for another episode with Carol Buckley, AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO. 